This Ag Business Update brought to you by American Implement. Indebted to the past, committed to the future. In a moment, Ag News. Would you like to see something done about high gas prices and low unemployment? Western Place Energy in Campus, Kansas is doing something about it. They're a proud part of Growth Energy, America's ethanol supporters, and they employ 38 people and will be adding more following the expansion. Ethanol fuel not only reduces the cost of regular gasoline, it's good for the environment and keeps money right here in the United States while supporting local rural jobs. Western Plains Energy, doing something for the future. s s Trailer Sales with two locations in Ness City, Kansas is where everybody goes to buy or rent trailers. They feature the all-new, all-aluminum Mauer Grain Trailer with all of the electric options, the easy-to-load detached trailers, and a huge stock of header trailers. At the west location, you'll find bumper pulls, goosenecks, and oil field specialty trailers along with flat and utility beds for pickups. s s Trailer Sales in Ness City and on the web, but remember, you do have to spell out the and. Well, in agriculture news, hailing the occasion is a significant milestone for Kansas State University and the entire ag industry in Kansas. Governor Laura Kelly joining state and national officials in a symbolic groundbreaking for the university's Agronomy Research and Innovation Center that took place just a few days ago. The new facility expected to be completed in 2025 to be located on the north end of the K-State campus, an area known by many of us as the Agronomy North Farm. That's across from Bill Snyder Family Stadium. Ernie Benton, the Dean of the College of Agriculture at K-State, said the center is a keystone for the college's vision to strengthen and diversify agribusinesses in Kansas and around the globe and will serve as a demonstrative site for public-private partnerships focused on the best practices in sustainable, regenerative agriculture, crop production, innovation, technology development, training, along with conservation and the protection of natural resources. The May 15th groundbreaking marked K-State's official kickoff of more than $125 million in agricultural infrastructure improvements that are planned through 2026. Now, in the fall of 2022, University launched an ambitious campaign to raise $75 million towards campus projects that included a global center for food and grain innovation and improvements to the livestock competition areas, Call Hall and Weber Hall thrown in there as well. K-State President Richard Linton said the university exceeded the goal, raising over $80 million in just four months. It was then matched by a $25 million challenge grant from the Kansas legislature, another $25 million more from an initial legislative appropriation. We'll have more coming up in just a moment. of everything has gone up dramatically over the last 75 years. With one exception, keeping electricity affordable. Wheatland Electric, delivering energy for life, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. When you've had a best friend for over 50 years, you develop a trust. And the Scott Co-op has been a trusted rural friend since 1957. A co-op keeps money in the area, doing business for and with their members. And that helps keep their hometown thriving with keeping money in the community. Scott Co-op is not just an elevator. It's the rural way of doing business. So when you see an elevator, remember your friends at Scott Co-op. With the beef cattle industry producing a high-quality product that consumers want more efficiently. The National Cattlemen's Beef Association announcing the findings as part of the 2022 Beef Checkoff-funded National Beef Quality Audit results. Since 1991, the Beef Checkoff-funded National Beef Quality Audit has delivered a set of guideposts and measurements for cattle producers to help determine the quality uh, conformance of the U.S. beef supply. NCBA's Josh White says the NBQA is an important tool for the industry to identify where improvements are being made and where there are opportunities to capture even more value. 
Now, when comparing the 2026 and 2022 NBQAs, the largest improvement was overall increased efficiency across the beef supply chain. Key findings include market segments no longer consider food safety as a purchasing criterion, but as an expectation. And market sectors indicate that their companies strive to increase their sustainability. The NBQA, conducted approximately every five years, provides an understanding of what quality means to the various industry sectors and the value of those quality attributes. And new legislation was introduced in the House of Representatives to allow for ethanol from cornstarch to qualify as an advanced biofuel. The Fuels Parity Act would also require the Environmental Protection Agency to use the Argonne GREET model to determine the greenhouse gas emissions profile of biofuels under the RFS. Corn is currently prohibited from qualifying as an advanced biofuel, even if it can, even if it can meet those required scientific thresholds because of a provision of the 2007 RFS expansion known as the Corn Discrimination Clause. Now, whether feedstock is limited, only cornstarch used for ethanol. So allowing corn to qualify as an advanced biofuel would incentivize lower emissions from ethanol production and allow corn to access another bucket of the, R of the RFS. And if ethanol can meet the scientific thresholds, then it should be allowed to qualify as an advanced biofuel, then generate an advanced biofuel RIN, and that according to the lawmakers that introduced the legislation. We'll have more coming up in just a moment. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation has been around a long time, and a lot of folks have trusted them to design, build, and service all sizes of commercial and on-farm storage for grain and equipment. Wolfter is also known for their outstanding irrigation division where they stock a complete selection of nozzles, regulators, drops, gear drives, electrical, and structure components. Looking for an electric motor? Wolfter has a large selection in single and three phase. Next time, reach out to the pros who have decades of experience at taking care of business the right way. Wolfter Construction and Irrigation. 1030 KBUF has agriculture information for you every day, beginning at 6 with Agriculture Today and Tony St. James. Then at 7, it is the KBUF Morning Show. We talk a lot about the markets and have interviews with newsmakers, weather, the all-important ET report, and a lot of information to give you to help you make good decisions on the farm and ranch. Follow along on our social media pages or listen to KBUF or any Western Kansas broadcast station online at westernkansasnews.com. I'm Ken Rogers. Thanks for watching.